Today, we are back at One Road for a bottom of the table clash and Daryl Clark's first game in charge against Fleetwood Town. We currently sit rock bottom of League One, 10 games played, 0 goals scored still and 17 conceded. Our form is horrendous of course, only one point on the board and that coming against Pompey away. Confidence is low, but from what I've been told, the first training session under Daryl Clark was very positive. Of course, he's only had one training session to turn things around, so we're not expecting a massive improvement today, but it's a must-win game for us. Fleetwood currently sit 23rd on 5 points, picking up their first 3 points of the season on Saturday at home to Leighton Orient. Of course, they're slowly seeing signs of improvement following the appointment of manager Lee Johnson. Of course, it did take time, but things are slowly starting to click, and hopefully we don't see that tonight. Everything inside me is absolutely praying for our first three points of the season and our first goal. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can Fleetwood get three points on the road and potentially get out of the relegation zone, or will Cheltenham finally find the back of the net and get three points on home turf? Only time will tell. Let's head to Wadden Road. And find out. Right, we're with Nappers, Fleetwood fan, fan, home and away. He's massive. Come on. How's your season been so far, mate? Uh, disastrous, really, mate. Yeah. It kind of feels like what could go wrong does go wrong. And I keep using the phrase, we keep doing the right things at the wrong time. And we all do we do the wrong things at the wrong time. So, Saturday was a lot better. A win, clean sheet. Come here today against a side that haven't scored a goal, you know, for 10 games. The bottom of the league, not got a point at home. Shelton Town 1, Fleetwood Town 0 is my score prediction, mate, I think. Really? Yes. I no no Ryan Broom goal? I love Broom. I think he's energetic. He adds a press. He, he really suits this way we want to play. Yeah. He can play right back. He can play midfield. He's, he is a, a top, top player. In, um, I'm glad we signed him. Very yeah. happy. What's your, what's your thinking behind you losing then? Because obviously we're on a horrendous run of I form. Just, what what like makes you think? Clark. I just kind of see your grit results out for you. In, find a way to because I don't think you've been that bad at the end. you look at the game during the season Bar the Bolton and was it Barnsley where you lost quite but by more than one goal yeah. obviously last year you've lost by more than one goal at Peter where you had two sending off oh dear, yeah. there's been a lot of stuff going wrong but you've been in games like we have so I do see that turning around and uh, I'm going to go kind of reserve psychology and play play the park and I think you'll you'll get back to any way today. Uh, top man, thank you very much mate. Your link will be in the description, everyone go subscribe. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, then half time, champ champ nil three with one. I've lost my hat, which is fantastic. Um, we're horrendous. I mean, in all fairness, we didn't look too bad until we've been absolutely stiffed by two horrendous refereeing decisions. For one, he was offside, and secondly, I hate to say it, but it, he's, he's dived beyond belief there. It's never a foul, never a free kick. It's a good free kick, well taken, but never a free kick I, you know, I'm, very, I'm a very lenient person but that is never in a million years a free kick but yeah big second half needed big turnaround difficult times but we need a goal we have to get a goal like I said must win game it's not looking good let's go second half Oh, what is that, sir? Lay down! Please do a goal. Yes, well. Oh. Please just score a fucking goal. Right then, full time, Charlton Town nil, Fleetwood two. We're, oh, mate, we're, we're not in a good place. Um, Daryl Clark's got a massive job on his hands. Seems like the right man for the job, to be fair. 
Um, everything I've heard. I've only heard good things so far, but that performance was absolutely unacceptable. He came out and said it himself. We are absolutely way off it. And I, I, I feel bad for certain players in this team because there was players tonight that they, they did do as much as they could do. Um, but, you know, it, it, ultimately it's a team game and we're not getting points, we're not getting goals. So we just got to keep moving. Obviously, we've got a run of home games now. We've got Derby on Saturday. We've got a trophy game next Tuesday. Our next away game is Blackpool away, of course, because Wickham away was postponed due to internationals. So, yeah, we're in it for the long run, boys. It's going to be a long season. We equaled the record for longest run without scoring a goal in Football League. Let's hope that we can put an end to that and, and not beat it. On uh, on Saturday because that would that would not be good. But we come up against a very good Derby side. It's tough, but you know we'll keep supporting, we'll keep the faith, and um, yeah, it's just how it is. That's football, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please smash like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, have a class rest of the day, and I will see you in the next one.